Hello and welcome to our second video on how to open a Dell Inspiron. Um, for this all you're going to need is a uh, Phillips screwdriver. So first of all just turn it off and take the battery out again. And then you need to have it on the flip side like this. And then you'll have eight screws. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Just to undo them all, start with. Then just um, put your finger under this little hinge here and then just pull it out. Wait, I'll just unscrew this one a bit more. Yeah, that's better. Then just put it on the screw with this one a bit more. And this one. Okay, so the next bit, before you go on, first thing you want to do is put this away somewhere safe so you don't lose it. Um, first thing you want to do, because all this is very delicate, you just want to ground yourself by touching the metal sides of your laptop, like the unpainted metal bits. So in case if you do touch anything that you shouldn't be touching, then um, you won't break it, sure, unless if you like you crush it and stuff. So next bit, you need to unscrew this screw, this screw, this screw, this screw, this screw, and yeah that's it. So basically this is the fan, this bit, you know this is where all the hot air comes out of and the actual fan is here and it blows all the air out of this bit and this is a filter that stops anything weird from getting out only allows the dust out and this is the uh, processor I think, that's the processor, I don't know, it's one of them. Um, that's the wireless LAN card, that's the RAM if you want to replace it so you can just take out, put some more in. Um, yeah. So just start by unscrewing them. Just want to make sure I don't lose the screw by accident. Yeah, so. Uh. You just want to be really careful with this because if you stick your screwdriver in the wrong, wrong place you might end up breaking something. I haven't and this is my second time doing this. My first time I think I did one or two things wrong. Like I was using the wrong screwdriver so it didn't work that well. So I have to try again with this one that I bought off Amazon. Okay, I think that's all done. Yes. Just quickly check. Um, so after you unscrewed all them, grab these latches here and just pull very lightly, gently, and lift it all out. Okay. Just unscrew a bit more. Make sure. Okay, let's see. Yes. Okay, so we lift that out. As you can see, this is the stuff that gets dusted up and stuff so make sure you don't touch any of this thermal paste otherwise it might affect whether your CPU cools and stuff so that's it that's like the processor and stuff um 
Yeah, so then this is the bit that you're looking at. Um, this bit is where all the dust is. I found like a massive dust clot in here. And that was stopping the f this fan inside from blowing all the hot air out of this bit. So it used to get up to 90 degrees and stuff. So just blow that out, whatever, get from some compressed air. No, I don't do that. Um, um, and yeah, that's it. And we've got to do next is um, put everything back on where it was. So let's just take this care. Put it back on. So that goes in there. And that goes in there. Um, so next, just screw it all back up. So then, after doing this, then you know it'll help with temperatures. It stay low, like pretty much 40 degrees, I'd say. Because before I used to average on 80 with no load, and then now I get 30 minimum and 40 usually. And then when I <coughs> do loads of stuff, then it goes up to 60 max. But before it was um, 80 to 90. No, 100. Sorry. And then it used to get really, really hot and then stuff. Oops. Okay, just check it. Nope, that's not budging. Okay. Um, so, as I said, you can take out the RAM and put it back in, like, you know, replace it with um, better ones. Um, yeah. So, next bit, you need to put this back on. So, hold it by the edges. Okay, <coughs> last step, just pretty much screw them up. Um, just a note: if you have, if you try this and like, it's, you can't screw the screws because you don't have the right screwdriver. Don't attempt it. Get a. Um, this one is 0 0.75, 75 centimeters. So, get with that one. Like, search it on Amazon. I might give you a link in the description if I want. Um, look out for this fold here. This little bit that juts out. Crap, I need to push that one in. Good. But yeah, but don't attempt it if you don't have the right screwdriver. Otherwise you mess up all the screws. And it doesn't work when you try. Because last time I did it, um, and I couldn't get this one open. So in the end I had to snap it. And then look, with this one it just opens up like easily. So then I basically I snapped my laptop a bit. Not that I did anything but yeah, just so you don't have to. Okay, test it by pulling on that. That's done. So now just put in the battery. You see it's up and running, and now it's running at 52 degrees with this video rendering. So it's on pretty much maximum load, and the main fans aren't running. It's only been cooled by these three fans on my laptop cooler. And yeah, so on 100% load, there it is, 52 degrees. And as you can see right next to it, it says zero, zero. That means um, the fans are running 
that they aren't running at all. So yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.